Om Shanti and good morning to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within. Those who are listening to this on Instagram, they can look at the description down below, which takes you towards the link, which takes you to my channel, your channel, on YouTube. And over there, you can just not see the blessings playlist, but you can even see what is most important is your diet, your most important plan for sleep, and also your yoga sins. Which are very very crucial in today's world. Flexibility is the most important thing in today's world. Otherwise, you can get hurt in some places. So, let's go ahead with today's blessing. What does Baba have to say? Today is our two hundred and fifth day of our godly blessing, and here Baba wants us to be cheerful throughout the day. Now, people go through a lot of trouble. Some people make losses in their life. Some people have lost their relatives in their life during this pandemic. Even after all that, how to be cheerful? So God says and gives us a secret of being cheerful today. Let's understand what exactly does He say. Baba says, "May you constantly be cheerful by your original sanskars. Original sanskars means original habits, emerging, and become an embodiment of knowledge." Those who have the knowledge and the wisdom are able to see everything as a detached observer. They are able to see and feel things on the basis of knowledge. But those who are attached to things, attached to outcomes, they are the ones, <coughs> excuse me, who get scared of things, who get mood swings. Now, every day is profit or loss. It could be in your finances. It could be in your relationships. It could be in even your health. Now, if that is happening in your life, which is happening with everybody, with me, with you, we need to understand that this drama is coming to an end. This is known as Kali Yuga, and in Kali Yuga, happiness is very limited, but that is situational. But if we remove or detach ourselves from the situation, that's the time we can constantly be in a state of happiness, because we. Are not going to take anything along with us from this world. Yes, we need to survive. We need finances to survive. We need good relationships. But relationship with myself, how do I talk to myself, is the most important relationship which I need to have because I can make a loss. But tomorrow, if I am putting myself down, if I am cursing the world, if I am cursing people around me, that energy is not going to let me grow back or move ahead or make profits in my life. Be it my health, be it my relationships, be it finances. So let's understand what Baba wants us to say. He doesn't want us to be detached in the sense like I don't care. That is not the meaning of detachment. Detachment from the outcome. If you make profits, you are too excited. If you make loss, you are too sad. No, God wants us to be in a stable stage. If today you got some disease, you are sad. You are bedridden and you are feeling low. You are depressed. Tomorrow, when you are healthy back, you are excited. God wants us to be stable in that stage. So let's see in details. Baba says the children who churn knowledge and become embodiments of it are always cheerful. What do I think when I go through a negative experience? What do I contemplate about? That is what defines us. That is what decides my next moment whether I'll be in a state of constant happiness or I'll be in a state of sadness. So. What is this divine knowledge? We learn it at Brahma Kumaris. We learn about the past, the present, and the coming future, and what is happening in the present times. Where are we in this world today? So we can find ways to be stable in this world, even when there is chaos. Next, Baba says, the children who churn knowledge and become embodiments of it are always cheerful. To be constantly cheerful is the original sanskar of Brahman life. Brahman means. The followers of Brahma. Brahma is Adam. Saraswati, Jagadamba, or Jagat's Amba means mother. Is Eve. Same thing in different religions, different words, different names. So Brahma means Adam, following Adam, the first creation of God. So Baba says, sanskars of Brahman life, divine virtues are your own property. I can be in a state of loss, or I can be in a state of feeling low by contemplating on that loss. By cursing the system, by cursing people, by cursing things around me, by blaming, I wish you were not there. I wish you had not disturbed me. I wish you were not loud at that time. 
I wish you had given me the right thing to eat that time. I can put that out, right? Or I can take responsibility. So divine virtue is taking responsibility. And devilish virtue is blaming others. Now when I'm blaming others, I'll feel lower and lower and lower in my mood. But when I talk to myself and bring myself out, and you talk to yourself and bring yourself out of this devilish trait of blaming, complaining, that's the time only then can your mood be always be cheerful. One point, there are many other things which you can think about. Next, Papa says, divine virtues are your own property and defects, the defects is complaining and all those things, are Maya's property. Maya over here is not just money. People think money is Maya. God says money can be put for good use, so it is not Maya. Maya is lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy, and many more negative things which are there lingering around your mind throughout the day. That is Maya, which is making you feel sad, which is making you doubt yourself. That is Maya. That is Maya's property, God is saying. So you have accumulated those by being influenced by bad company. In our previous births, in our present birth, we have been in bad company because of which we have absorbed or taken those negative traits. How do we take negative traits? One way of taking negative trait is talking negative about others. That's what God abstains us from doing. He says, don't look at other people's negativity. Don't talk about other people's negativity because it's so malleable. Your mind is so malleable that that thought becomes yours own by contemplating about it. And it, if it contemplate, if you contemplate about it again and again, it becomes your problem. That negativity comes into you. So stop looking at other people's negativity. Stop talking or stop spreading other people's negativity. That's what we have done throughout our life. That's where bad company, bad influences happen. So God says, now turn your back on that. Turn your back on those things. Don't look at that. Stay in your position of an almighty authority. I am an almighty authority. You are an almighty authority. Authority of our own mind's mood. Yes. And the knowledge. And you will always be cheerful. No devilish or wasteful sanskar will have the courage to come in front of you. So, if I am focusing on removing negativity, one secret, I will bring in more negativity. So, what do I do? I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be moody. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to look at other people. No, 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 no. Look at the positivity in God in other people. Instead of saying, I don't want to see the negativity in others, say, I want to see the positivity in others. That's the method of switching it around. So, think about it. Bring that practice in your life. And I leave you with this beautiful Vardhan and share it with others. Have a blessed day. Stay safe. Stay home. Om Shanti.